Welcome back. More KOTOR 2 on Malakul. Finally. The end of the game. Although, this is a, a long end to the game. There's a bunch of gas mines here that, like, can't affect me. But they're fun to set off. I also don't think you can ever recover them. Like, I don't care what your awareness is. I've never been able to even, like, spot them. Yeah, damage console. We'll come back to these at some point. It's important to clear everything out as the main character right now. Oh my goodness. Just insta killing these guys. Oh, there's another one. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that's a... That's a really interesting lightsaber crystal. It's like a disruptor variant of a lightsaber crystal. It does 1 to 8 unstoppable damage. I think that's what the... I think we can actually check. No. Oh, this one's also really good, though. Yeah. Two strength, one dex, two regen, which is interesting and keen. I'm thinking of the Harakian crystal, I think. Which is also un it's a unique crystal that you can get here. Oh, please stop getting me stuck in place. But the crystal that you can get later on gives a... Uh, one to eight unstoppable damage, which is interesting. It's not... It happens way too late in the game. No one uses shields at this point anyways. Oh, man. We're just killing everything. Nice force scream you tried there, buddy. Because it didn't work. <laughs> Gas mines to set off. Yay! Like, if you got the unstoppable early on and more enemies used shields, it... Where am I going? <laughs> oh, gosh. This place is really confusing sometimes. The map is very jagged and non-linear. So there's a lot of exploring you gotta do if you wanna have an easy time later on. If more enemies use shields, then disruptors would be viable, but no one uses shields in this game. And a few people that do, there's a couple droids that do like early on. And they're just pure energy shields, and you're playing as T3, so you just have the shock arm. So you can just bypass it entirely. Uh, okay. So we just go this way. It all condenses down to one path from here. And then splits again. Oh, no more speed. More speed. <laughs> there we go. Head this way, now we go down. I mean, this place is freaky to walk upon. It's all, like, cavey, and then there's, like, this green glowing energy coming out of the ground. Plus there's like a permanent storm going on. I don't know. I guess this is light. Let's go into first person. Which you can do by pressing caps lock and I can't even look up that high. Okay, never mind then. Oh, this is a cool but also really sad part. It's very upsetting. Not this corpse, but look at the poor Evan Hawk. Poor guy. He's all broken. My poor ship! It's so, it's so pretty and broken. If the exile has come here, then she oh, yeah, all our companions along. are just of scattered. Course, the Huntress is with the exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, but not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No. I have brought a beast to Malakor to deal with that one. We shall see if prey can become a predator. Her breaking shall be flesh and bone, or it shall be inside. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. It's really interesting how even though Kray is the villain now, she's still testing everyone. She's well, not like... Here's a surprise. <laughs> Yet another slice of galactic paradise. Why can't we ever go to Alderaan or Ithor or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty <laughs> beasts? Um, because that's not how this game works. Uh-oh, who's that? Who are those legs belonging to? It's Hanhar. Yeah, big surprise. We knew he was alive. It's really interesting how Kraya, still being the villain, is a unique villain and that she's not just, I want to destroy these I want to destroy the main character Blah. I mean it's to a, a more extreme extent in the fact that she wants to destroy all <laughs> life although not necessarily all life she just wants to destroy the force she hates the force but 
you know, that'll also just kill all life, so... It's not really <laughs> something that we can let happen. Here's another one of these ships. You need to reveal, or you need to find four of these things and clear a path to them is the important part. Because you'll come back later and, oh, poor Evan Hawk. I'm so sorry, my, my beautiful, awesome ship. Gosh, it's going to be full of quick saves this episode, it seems, because none of these dudes are close enough to fight them all at once. So I just have to jump. Oh, don't go to the depths yet. I want to continue to clear out this upper area. I don't think we need to. I think the next two things are in the lower, or in the depths, but I want to be sure, and I want to get as much XP. One more level. Come on. Give me that corpse. Ah, yes. Cryoban grenades. I'll be using those against the final boss. For sure. Nothing's more effective than, like, 20 points of cold damage against the final boss of the game. Very nice. Nothing back here. Besides another view at the undercarriage of the beautiful Ebon Hawk. He's all busted up. It's all sad. Yeah, we go this way. We go down deeper into the depths of Malakor. And we get another cutscene, it seems. Oh, she was ahead of us, I guess. Honhar, oh, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> Great man, female says you have claimed the name Jedi. Her words dishonor you, for she does not believe it. I do not believe it. You've always been prey, weak, scared, always running, hesitant to kill. Not even choking her. <laughs> here on this graveyard planet, you have nowhere left to run. The eyes of Nar Shaddai do not look here, and what happens shall only be, be between you and I. Just turn on your lightsaber and stab him. It's like, you, my hand's gross now. Oh, yeah, let me get the fight. Okay. Let's use some of these force powers. Oh, I'm dying. Holy. Honor's a tough boy. We'll give one more attempt at stasis, and then we'll try and use the force to throw him away. No, we're just we'll just fight him. We can get a nice crit and stun him. It's over for him. I mean, we're doing a ton of damage when we land a good crit, which I should have let hit there, but I wanted to get a heal off. Come on, give me another one of those 80 damage crits. Ooh, that was good. And there we go. Kill me, and the life debt shall be settled. I cannot be in your debt twice. It'll only be a second death to me, whether you spare me or kill me. <laughs> There's no need for this. You don't owe me a life debt, I release you. My hatred for you would drown the raging storms of this planet, perhaps hotter than the hatred of the heart of the gray maned woman. I won't kill you no matter what you've done, so you serve Kraya. Yeah, I won't kill you no matter what you've done. You never stop being a slave, I give you a chance to prove it. End your life, Ted. You have no choice if I spare you, but I give you the opportunity to settle it. <laughs> I could just spam this chain over and over. I will not kill you in cold blood. You are a weak, a child of the hut's moon, frightened forever, blah 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 blah. You'll face, but can't waste any more time here. Yeah. Leave me alone, Hanhar. Dummy. Estupido. And there we go. We've defeated... Oh gosh, more people. You've defeated Hanhar, and Mira has done her thing. I think there's... Not much else the companions get to do at this point. I did not want to stay since so I just want to jump on him. There we go. I think... I mean, we get one more thing as not us that we get to play, but I think... Like, we just get cutscenes from here on out. Besides that one thing, but it's... Kind of special, you'll see. This is part of Malachor that kind of sucks, because... 
there's a lot of places to go and clear out and a lot of backtracking you have to do it to do that but here's another one of those ships I want to loot it because I like loot uh, we can't do anything as damage consoles I'll show you just to be sure engine core damage manual power log out that's it we just need to clear out one more of those Ooh, we might fight two at once here well <laughs> we'll just jump on him and insta kill him because at this point your character should be so ungodly powerful that you either kill him with one attack or you just uh, completely annihilate them with force powers which is kind of how this is set to be i mean at this point your character is the most powerful in your party hands down at least they should be um, I don't think... I guess we are ready for that. I mean, we can come down here. I don't know if we looted this. No, we didn't, but yeah. I guess we have to go through these doors. I didn't realize that we did to find the fourth ship. Unless it's up that way. Was this one the fourth? It doesn't tell me. Hmm. We'll see. I'm gonna run all the way back up towards the entrance of the depths because I want to ensure that I didn't miss an entire branch that's very important to clear out now before the other time we come through here where we can't really fight anything especially nothing this strong yeah okay I'm glad I came back this way because this <laughs> these two would have caused me some real issues had I not cleared this out yeah okay I, f I, th I swore you didn't need to go through those gates in order to, uh, what's it called? In order to get to those ships. Oh, yeah, we have this cool little l l ledge here overlooking the... What are those bodies down there? Oh, right, we'll come across those, but overlooking the entrance into this Treus Academy, as it's called. Interesting, because Kraya is actually Darth Treya. Oops, I just paused the game on accident. Yeah, we'll come across those bodies. It implies something once we see them. Yeah, Malachor is a freaky place, man. Because it's like... It's dead. <laughs> it's a dead world at this point. Because, well, kind of what we did. The bear dirt built and what I commanded him to use. The big old mass shadow generator. Doors close. Other doors close. Stomp, 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 stomp. Looks like any other storm beast, but it's actually a greater storm beast. He's bigger than the other ones. He still sucks, though. Do this. We'll do this. Get ready for a big old fight against this guy, and we'll leap on him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was some boss battle, huh? Jeez. I didn't even see what was in that. I clicked too fast. And now these doors open back up. Anyways, that dude was a pushover. <laughs> oh, God. A Jedi Guardian or a Weapon Master at this point in the game is just so stupidly powerful. Combining, like, the Zhuyo form for the extra hit plus flurry, plus tier 2 burst, or plus master speed, I guess. You just annihilate everything with like 6 or, six or 7 attacks I get. So you get 1 from Julio, 2 from speed, 1 from each weapon, 1 from flurry. You get 6. I thought there was a way to get 7. You set assassins from heavy repeater fire. Well, based on that ledge that overlooks it, or this here, maybe. Hmm, who used a heavy repeater? Well, that'd be none other than Mandalore. So he's clearly running around doing stuff too. Killing Sith. Without me. I don't know why they don't just wait for me. I'd like to have a party here. Not that it would really matter. Uh oh. Bunch of Sith assassins. That's right. Bow for me. You know I am the superior. Kill you all with like three hits of Force Storm. 
And now we enter the Treus Academy. Well, we get another cutscene here first. This is where some of the companions have met up. I think. Oh, there's me over there for some reason. I say we fire a rocket at her right now and blow her screaming, burning body into the heart of this planet. It wouldn't work. If there were other distractions, maybe. If she wasn't telepathic, maybe. If you want to kill her like that, you need something else to occupy her attention. Otherwise, you might just wound her. And then we'd all be in trouble. We're this all battle will not be decided by weapons. You are wrong. Manipulation is Kreia's strength, not battle. We have a chance. We just have to figure out how to make use of it. Interesting enough, though, if they were to kill her there, I would probably die too, right? Because she and I are linked? Because that's the whole thing. If we didn't come to her, she would just kill herself here on the planet, and I would die too. What's up, remote? We watching this, and what the general suspected was true. The Sith are striking from the graveyard of Malachor V. The ship the Sith Lord was on was one of the vessels damaged in that final battle. If you reach Malachor's surface, the mass shadow generator can be undone, provided there are enough vessels intact within the orbiting debris or buried in the planet's surface. Use the sequence I am unlocking in your memory banks on the engine core of any vessel you encounter on Malachor. If my calculations Malachor. are correct, four vessels should be enough to power up the mass shadow generator and undo the damage that was done in Malachor 5, the damage I did. Once the sequence has begun, we cannot be stopped. So make sure the general is off the planet before triggering the sequence. Otherwise, there will be no retreat. I know your weapons systems are minimal, and I don't know what awaits you on Malachor's surface. This is why you clear it out, because the remote's got to go around. We get to play as the remote. Follow your programming. Follow your programming. Commands you to find four vessels. You have no offensive weapons, and if you are destroyed, you will fail your mission. Oh, here we go. We get to go explore uh, Malachor again. So I'm just going to cut to each one to save a bit of time. So we will be back once we find the first one. Enter the sequence. It's powered up. And now we go find the second one. Go ahead and power this one up. All right. Now, of course, we can't forget about the third one. Very important. And, of course, we have to move on to the last one. Enter the sequence priming the mass shadow generator. 98% mass shadow generator powering up. Sequence primed. Yay, thanks, Beodor. If you are hearing this, then the sequence has been completed. When active, it will destroy Malakor. Again, I have one Again. last command for you. You must remain behind and ensure that the sequence fires properly once the general gives the command. If not, then all we have fought for has been for nothing. You have done all I asked, all you were built for, and for that, I thank you. I thank you. Uh-oh, it's Goto. The big fat boy himself. Touching. Touching. trigger commands within your core was high. I see the probabilities have played out. Of course, the probability that I would do the same is equally high. Your inability to move right now is evidence of that. If the general issues the command, only I will be here to receive it. Come on, Goto. You realize I cannot permit you or the exile to activate the mass Why? here on Malachor. In that, your programming and mine conflict. And since you have no offensive weaponry to speak of, the probability of your programming overriding my Once again, that one. You must understand that the general so would good. not wish the relics or the Sith strength here on Malachor to be compromised. Um, I'm pretty sure I would. Needed to stabilize the galaxy. No, I don't think so. Then, the galaxy would be reduced to anarchy within years. And if there is anything I can't stand, it's an untidy... Yeah, probably will last a couple thousand years, we're fine. Let us wait here, you and I, for the General's orders and... The General's the orders. ...of the galaxy. For action, what could Rust listen to your features, Bat One? Perhaps this large unwieldy vocabulator within your moon-sized frame that prevents your calculations from taking me into account. And while I find this small droid annoying in the extreme, I find my urge to <laughs> shoot you takes a higher priority. Unfortunately for you, I have arranged for friends to meet me here, and you seem to have brought none. 
not of your own. Those the HK fifty ones. Unexpected correction. We are not here to aid you. We are here because our predecessor unit summoned us. Statement. As always, that one you have miscounted. As always, uh, one. An unfortunate oversight. All I wish was to fulfill my programming. Either way, Boom. the Republic is. Uh, Observation. I thought he would never <laughs> I die. I thought he would never die. If you don't bring the HK 51s online as HK's new friends, uh, it's just a 50 series and they can't attack him because of the self preservation programming. But it's not as cool as HK 47, 47, 47 having his army of 51s annihilate them. We've come a long way, Kreia. Still far to go. Such a long, like, ah, bit of cutscenes. To come alone, you are braver than I thought. There's a Sith assassin in that alone. tunnel now. There's we me again, with just her. standing there, I guess. And with her, stand all. I don't know where you came from. There's not a ramp there. And now I come in, saying <laughs> something suitably heroic. I love Atten at the end of the game. Children with lightsabers, but not Jedi, I think. Well, Hatton doesn't have them. He has pistols. Let me look upon you and see what the Exile's teaching has forged. An assassin, wasted pawn of the Republic, uh -huh. a blinded slave, and a fool. <clears throat> Which of you wishes to try yourselves against <laughs> And a fool. As you can see, I am unarmed. You, perhaps. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much. I don't know why I'm just standing over there on the left. I guess I need to be here in order for this to play out as like an in-game cutscene, maybe. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> why did he turn on a shield? <laughs> I've never seen that. Before you throw away your life for her. Oh Think gosh, I love the AI in dying, this game. Your lusts unfulfilled, a dance unfinished, a love requited. Think before you give it up so quickly. Think. And you, blind one, you have hungered to strike me down ever since you saw the bond the exile and I share. Can you feel the force running through me, even past the veil, past your blooded eyes? You know you cannot win. You the cannot win. strong within you, Treya. But in the howling of a storm, it is difficult to hear the whisper of the blade. You have forever whisper been the blade. blade. You were given a gift few are ever given, and yet you let your gift of sight warp you. Twist. You think your existence <laughs> under your lord was torture, Miraluka? I will make you see an assassin. <laughs> nice shield. Run away, Atten. Oh, uh, this is a pretty, pretty fun part. Pretty clever. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick save. And then we run. Oh, run away! Um, you're supposed to activate. There we go. <laughs> All right then. I don't know why he didn't, but and I, I get the fool. Funny. That's just what I was thinking. Yeah, Atten's too cool. He's turning his back on you, Scion. Have I upgraded his lightsaber at all? Nope, that's a generic lightsaber. We're just gonna shoot the guy. Nice. Ow. Nice. Ow. More where that came from. Nice. We're gonna level up because I want to before the end of the game. Because we're not gonna lose this fight. Um, oh great. Sure, throw the lightsaber that you don't use. More where that came from. Pew. Don't oh, oh come on now. From. Why are you doing this? Just give up, dude. That came from. Give up, dude. That came from. There we go. <gasps> Run away. Ah! And I get the fool. That's just what I was thinking. I think we're finally back to me. No? Not yet. Soon. We'll get to play the game instead of watching it again soon.
When the exile enters the Treas Academy, she will be faced with... I think I'm supposed to be standing there. Oh, there I am. <laughs> One path, assuming she survives, will allow her to save her friends, but she shall be the weaker for it. Who knows why? ...will lead her directly to this place, through the ones that have hounded her steps from the beginning, and she shall have her vengeance. Show her, her every vengeance. respect when she arrives in these halls, Lord Sion. This I command you. This I command you. He looks not happy, and I don't really care. Because I get to do this. She got a thousand XP for doing stuff. And goodbye, Elite Sith Assassin. We did double lightsabers, one of them being is that a yellow crystal? What are you doing, you weirdo? Anyways, now we just get to go back to annihilating everybody. Oh, it was a short Viridian lightsaber. What a weirdo. We use the short lightsabers at this point in the game. Okay, I wanted to attack him, please. Just annihilate all these assassins, because they still suck. They sucked since we encountered them the first time on the Harbinger. There we go. Any loot? 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 No loot. Okay, well, I think, wait. Oh, okay, I don't know why these are both unique locations. There we go, I'm gonna be able to move. I think we're actually going to end this episode here. This one's gonna be a little bit shorter, but the next episode is gonna be, I don't know, an hour long, however long it takes to end the game. Uh, I don't wanna really move on too much more. Well, I'll go clear out like two more rooms down, these, down this way and just kill some more people. But uh, I think next episode, we're just going to end it. I don't care how long it takes. We'll just have one long episode to finish it off. We'll clear out the entirety of this academy, both sides. Because Cray was talking about you pick one side or the other. Well, I'm going to pick both sides. <laughs> I want more XP. I don't think I'll be able to get a level, another level past one that I'm close to getting. You know, we'll clear out enemies till I get a level. Because, I mean, it's not going to be too much farther. So we, yeah, like this might even give me the level right now. And they can't even hurt me, it's beautiful. Okay, apparently I did force enlightenment twice and killed the guy without even attacking him. Very nice. Level here? No level here. Almost. They did more damage than I expected. Good thing I have force heal. Yeah, back up to full. We'll do that. And then I think there's enemies down this way. Yeah, we'll kill these guys and then that'll probably... Yep. Oh, there's a box here. Right. Some chemicals that we're never going to use. I didn't use chemicals all game. Why would I need them now? Anyways, we'll give it one final level. Got up to level 30. Ton of Persuade. Oh, cool. We got increased melee damage 3. Just... An extra six points, so I get an extra two points of damage. Nice. We'll get superior two weapon fighting, I suppose. Why not? Powers. I wanted to get valor, so it stacks with my force enlightenment. But all right, we're gonna end this episode here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you're ready for a nice long hour plus video for the next and final episode, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Also, don't forget the vote on the post I made a few days ago about what game you want to see next. Uh, uh, let me know what you want me to play next, and I will see you next time.